Welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and search bar, search for the composer. Open this thing in new tab. Okay. Now from your create environment, choose the composer one. It will take couple of seconds. So just come on the task number one and scroll down and copy this name. Do not copy that extra space. Just copy this thing carefully. And here just paste the name like this. Now for the location, it must be US East one. Okay as mentioned in the live instruction now for the image version you need to choose the airflow version 2.2.5 okay so if you just click on this the on the third point the airflow version is 2.2.5 so choose that now in the zone it must be us east one c okay make all these changes scroll down click on create now it will take almost 20 sometimes it's take more than that or sometimes it's complete in the 10 minutes so it will take that much time Meanwhile, we will go with the next task. So just search for the bucket, open this thing in new tab. Now here, please pay attention guys. We have to create two buckets. Okay. So just copy this project ID, click on this create bucket and paste a project ID here. Now let me just zoom in for you. After pasting your project ID, just dash and US. Okay. So we are creating one bucket for US region. So just click on continue in multi region. the region is us because we are creating for us now simply click on continue 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 and create just wait for a second click on this do not show this message again and click on confirm so we have done with one bucket now again click on create bucket click on create now here just paste the bucket id bucket name again you can say project name now here just type let me just zoom in dash europe okay now from here click on continue in multi region choose the Europe okay because we are creating for Europe region again continue 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 and create so we are done with the task number two also if you just click on check my progress for task one you will get a score if you just check the score for the task number two you will get a score without any issue now here we have to create one data set if so just copy this data set name and in search for in search option search for BigQuery open this thing new tab click on continue you click on this three dot create data set project ID and here please pay attention in multi region choose the Europe okay and simply click on continue so you are done with the task number three also okay now here no need to perform task number four and five simply come come on the task number six and copy all these three commands okay so just activate your cloud shell first of all let me just increase just wait for a couple couple of seconds click on continue meanwhile open the open online notepad okay i will recommend you to open the online notepad instead of using your personal one okay so just wait for a second it will be done okay let me just increase the text size for you okay so now just copy this first command of task number six and run then copy the second command this command will take a couple of seconds to execute so just wait for that and run now copy the last command and run okay so you are done with the task number six now for the task number seven what you have to do just copy this thing carefully to equal to okay copy that paste over here then go to your bucket okay go to bucket click on this now from here just choose the us east one bucket okay click on that copy this bucket name and paste after this equal to like this okay so you are done with this thing so we are done with the task number seven now for the task number eight before moving uh, before running this command just go to your environments and make sure this thing is created if it's not created let me just if you can from here you can just check so this thing is still in created state so just wait for until this is uh, this thing is in uh, running state okay after that we have to run these two commands but here we have to make little changes so just copy this go to your notepad paste over here let me just increase the text size for you okay now just copy this project id and just make a changes over here okay just remove this unique id with your project id like this okay 
and here out. Like this. Okay. Now we have to just wait until our, our composer is in running state. So just wait for that.
so it's finally completed as you can see it's take around uh, 13 14 minutes for me okay so now just copy this command okay copy this thing go to your dashboard and run over here okay click on authorize now just scroll down and copy this last command and just wait for this command get executed it will done in couple of seconds and run the last command also okay just wait for this command get executed so it's done now if you just scroll down copy this command and run now copy this command and just wait for this command get executed run the second command then copy the last command ok just wait for to this command get executed okay now if you just scroll down and if you just simply click on check my progress as you can see you got a score so that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts or if you didn't get a score over here that time what you have to do is just come over here click on this airflow authorize thing but most probably you will get a score over here but I am just saying that if you didn't get a score so just check that is this thing is succeed or not ok so as you can see it is in that success place so that is why I got a score so that is the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day